Hello everyone. A surgical drain, sometimes called the JP, which is short for Jackson Prep, is a tube that allows fluid that would otherwise build up underneath the skin a way to be easily and cleanly removed from the body. It's often a very important part of the early recovery process because by allowing fluid to drain out, it minimizes the chances of chronic fluid accumulation development, called a seroma. Seromas can at least be a nuisance and in some cases, they can become infected. We place surgical drains during most operations, particularly those on the breast and abdomen region. They usually stay in for one or two weeks, and then they are removed in the office. The drains we most commonly use are comprised of a narrow tube of thin, floppy, flexible plastic and then they have a collection bulb on the end that looks a lot like a grenade. There's a cap on the top of the bulb, and usually a loop or clip that allows it to be connected to your clothing so that it doesn't dangle. There is the option to use products that can support the drains in the shower, and you can find links to them on our website. They are very easy to use. Please keep them capped on suction at all times. You do this by uncapping the cap, squeezing the bulb, then capping the cap with the bulb squeeze. At this point, the bulb should remain collapsed, which means that gentle negative pressure is being applied to the end of the tube, which means that a gentle vacuum effect is actively pulling fluid out of the body, through the tube, and into the collection bulb. Please empty the bulb one time each day. For simplicity's sake, it's good to empty it at the same time each day. All you need to do is uncap the cap, Squeeze the bulb in order to empty the liquid into one of the measuring cups we provide for you. Then write down in your log how much was measured, and then you empty the fluid into the sink toilet. Recap the cap with the bulb squeeze, and then go about your day. You should not limit your activity in any way because of the presence of drain. We want you to be out and about, moving normally, and showering normally. In the shower, the drains are able to get wet without any limitations or restrictions. We encourage you to periodically strip the drain. This will clear any debris from the tubing and move it into the collection bowl. To do so, just pinch the tube near the skin with two fingers on both hands. Then, while continuing to pinch, slide one set of fingers down the tubing in the direction of the bowl. Then, without releasing your pinch with that hand, with the other hand, release the tube and repinch next to the fingers that have been slid down. Do this as many times as it takes to reach the bowl. If there had been any debris, it will have been slid down the tube into the collection bowl. At first, the drain output will be a red color. Over the first few days, the color usually starts to lighten and the consistency gets a little thinner. After a few days, the color should be a lighter red and by about a week, the color should be closer to yellow. If you have two or more drains, don't be surprised if the amounts change day to day or if one side drains more than the other. That is very common and almost never a sign of any problem. It's not uncommon to have a little bit of positional discomfort where the drain passes through the skin. And the skin immediately around the drain can sometimes become a little red and inflamed. If it does, it's not a reason for concern. But if the redness enlarges or becomes asymmetrical, then of course contact us and we'll discuss. Drains are removed when the amount coming out of them has dropped below a certain threshold. It varies based on the situation, but it's usually about 20 milliliters for a 24 hour period. It's understandable that people will be worried that drain removal may hurt, but when it comes time to be removed, we simply cut the one stitch that is at the level of the skin and then the drain slides right out. Because the size of the tube on the inside of the body is the same as the size on the outside, there is no pulling or tugging as it comes out. It just slides right out. Do they become clogged? Though it's possible, they almost never become clogged. If you strip the drain, it will almost always be open and flowing. And do they become infected? Again, it's possible for the drain sites to become infected, 
but in all my years, I've honestly never seen it happen. The skin around the tube can become irritated, but it has never become infected. And what should you do if it stops holding suction? If the bulb stops holding suction, then inspect the cap to see if it is still sealing well. Also, check to make sure the tube is securely connected to the collection bulb. Finally, check at the level of the skin to see if the tube has partially slid out. If you're not able to get the bulb to hold its suction again, then please call our office and we'll help you out. Even if drains seem daunting or intimidating at first, you'll find that they're actually quite easy to manage. You'll be happy to have them removed, but do recognize that they played a key role in your recovery. Please contact us for any questions and good luck.